best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. The Four Kings, Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Thomas Hearns, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Four absolute no-brainer locks for the Hall of Fame who would time and time again risk their legacies by fighting one another at least once. It was a special time in the sport, one that many think won't ever be repeated. But now, there might be even something greater with five names at the top of the lightweight division that could do the same thing those four did 40 years ago. Tiafimo Lopez, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, Gervonta Davis, and Vasily Lomachenko, who should never be left out of this discussion. The only men who have fought each other so far in this list are Lopez and Loma. In boxing, wins and stoppages are not always the be-all end-all. A prime example of why is Tiafimo Lopez. The unified champion standing atop the class is the king that every man wants to dethrone. His name holds the most weight, most cash, and most certainly the biggest test. And it's not because of how many wins he has or how many knockouts, it's because of the names he has beat to get to where he is today. Most famously for beating Lomachenko, who at the time, and arguably still is, one of the best to strap on the gloves in the lightweight division. TakeOver is truly trying to take over the division, but there is one man who was in his way from being undisputed. Devin Haney, which is a name that kind of lies behind the curtain, with some people, promoters, and networks saying that Lopez vs. Loma fight was for the undisputed titles, when it was in fact not. The dream is not someone to ignore. Not only is he the WBC champion, but he is the defending champion after he defeated Yuriorkis Gamboa by unanimous decision. Just like Lopez, Davis, and Garcia, Haney is also undefeated with a ton of KOs. Having him fight social media guru Ryan Garcia would be good for the sport, but also good for his career. Haney wants him next, and it might happen because the WBC also wants it next, with Garcia's last win making him the mandatory challenger. Garcia. Even with his massive social media presence, it seemed like when it came to the ring, he needed just one more big win to solidify his name and put his career on a rocket ship to stardom. The man standing in his way was Luke Campbell, and he wasn't going to go easy. For the first time in Garcia's career, he was sent to the canvas and forced to get up to the sound of a 10 count. And for a moment, it looked like the next big post with him in it was going to be another meme in 2021. Instead, he got back on his feet, and one unusual bad moment for Garcia turned into an unusual great moment. A left hook to the body in the seventh put Campbell down for the count, and earned Garcia the interim WBC world title. Campbell said after the fight, that was the hardest shot he has ever been hit by. Coming from a man whose last fight was against Vasily Lomachenko, that says a lot. Another name that in his last fight skyrocketed his career is Gervonta Davis. Last time we saw Davis in the ring was when he defeated Leo Santa Cruz to retain the WBA World title and gain the WBA World Super Featherweight belt. That was after he earned his lightweight strap by also defeating Gamboa by TKO in the 12th, which was a fight that could have ended even sooner. Davis has the nickname Tank for a reason. He is the definition for seek and destroy. Heavyweight is known for being that one punch finisher, but Davis is that at lightweight. He has more knockouts than Garcia and Lopez have wins. Lots of KOs means lots of wins, and the 26-year-old's 23 KOs has added up to an undefeated record at 24-0. The four kings were fighters that helped the sport become what it is now and give fans the chance to possibly witness what might be the next five kings.